guys, welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to be showing you what's in my pencil case. So this is the pencil case that I'm using for this year. It's from Smiggle. I also do, I, la, 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 la. I also used it last year. Now let's see what's inside. So let's start over here. First I've got these like bluey turquoise scissors. There was yellow, red and this colour and I decided to choose this colour because I thought it looked like the best. Then I've got this metal ruler which is 15 centimetres but it has it in millimetres but I just use it in centimetres as well. And it also has inches on the back and on the edges it is quite sharp. She says whilst poking herself with it. So I used this um, half broken case to put it in so like I don't hurt myself. Then moving on to the bottom, I have a glue stick, UHU stick, and I just decided to paint the top and the bottom. The bottom paint is kind of peeling off, but the top paint isn't really because I think it's got like more grooves on it so the paint can stick to it better. And I just painted it because why not? Then I've got highlighters. These are from Stabilo, Stabilo Boss original. These are neon highlighters. I would have preferred pastel ones but I just had these ones from last year and I thought there's no point of like buying new ones when I still have these ones. But then I have this mini, mini sellotape thing and I just thought it would be useful because sometimes like last year when I forgot my glue stick at home I would use this and it would be really helpful except when I forgot my glue stick and this at home that wasn't helpful it came in this like mini set of stationery I have this like mini pair of scissors as well and it came with like loads of other mini stuff that I've probably lost then I have this eraser by Stadler, Stad, Stadler. Okay, I don't know how to say that, but it's a really good eraser and it erases things like really well. By the way, I'll try. And I'll try to link most of the things that I have in the description box below. But I'm not sure if I can link everything. Then I just have some white out Tipex. Then I have this Helix Oxford sharpener. This is a really good sharpener because you know when sometimes when you sharpen pencils, but like half of the lead is like low, but then the other half is like high in its wood. It's really annoying, but I don't get this with sh sharpener. Moving on to here. So here I have this focus. Okay, I've got this map pad or may pad, I'm not sure how to say it. Um, mechanical pencil. And there's like a green one and a pink one. And if you guys didn't know, pink is my favorite color. So I got the pink one. It is 0.5 millimeters. I don't really need a mechanical pencil, but I just wanted to be like a little fancy and get one. So I just got like the cheapest one and I didn't really care what brand it was or anything. Then I have these two pencils, which I actually decorated to make them look a bit prettier. So I just painted them a baby pink and I got a pipe cleaner and twisted it round to make kind of like a grip and make it softer for when I write. And by the way, excuse my nails, I just, yeah. I may or may not have gotten bored and decided to color my nails with markers. These are, I think, I think they're like Arteza pencils i can't really remember it said it before like on the pencil before i painted it i think there were like arteza or arteza however you say it i don't know how to pronounce all these brands then i've got this rainbow pen and it's a rainbow pen it's i don't know where i got it from because someone gave it to me but it's got like all these different colors and it's really handful instead of having like a bunch of different colors you can just have them all in one place 
then I've got this pink pen by Papermate and it used to be a stylus as well there used to be a stylus on the end but that broke off I just use this to like correct so if we're marking in class I'll use this pen to mark my work then I have this rose gold pen and I don't know where it's from because someone gave it to me but I think it's really pretty it's so fancy like like I got it in this really fancy case and I think it's so pretty. Then I've got a fountain pen and fountain pens are like one of my most favourite things to write with. I've been using them for like four years. I've been using this specific brand for four years. It's Bic. I get refillable ones. These are not refillable ones because I had trap trouble i had trouble with the refillable ones like refilling it so i just got these ones that you can't refill and they came in like a big pack that's lasted for like over four years and then here is like the the big correction pen to like correct your fountain pen also i forgot to tell you with this fountain pen the only downside to it is that you cannot highlight over it it just smudges like even if i let it dry for days it'll still smudge like it's all dry when you touch it and everything but it'll still smudge if i put highlighter in so that's the only downside to this but then i've got these pens and these seem to be really popular in my school they are uni ball ink pens that are 0.7 millimeters i've got a blue and a black one because we can write with blue or black and the, I've tried them out and I can highlight with these so I'm really happy about that. Now to the back flap. So here I've just got some lead for my mechanical that's the word mechanical 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 you need to remember that this is the lead for my mechanical pencil then here i've just got some like sticky note things or that i can write stuff on and put all in neon colors so pink blue yellow and orange then here i've got some just some like color pencils and of course i put them in rainbow order and they are from the same place as that rubber and then i got these paper clips so basically i just got like a pack of 100 paper clips for like 35p and i just took three and basically what i've done is i made these like cute kind of things on them to make them look a bit more aesthetic and make them look a bit more pretty and i can just use that to like um clip paper together because that's what paper clips are for um, I also made a pink one, but that one, like, I had to glue the, this, oh, I can't speak. This thing fell off the paper clip, so I just had to glue that back together, so the glue's still drying on that. But I'll insert, like, an overlay showing you how it looks right now. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to check out the videos on the screen right now. Also, go to the description box and fill in that form form to like help review about this video and what you thought about it and also go to my poll video the link is in the description where you vote on polls that i make bye